after downloading point clouds for Rhino from our website, www.visus.com. Double click on the installer and accept the software license agreement. Click next to continue. Default or previous installation directory is shown, although you may alter this location, shown here is changing location to Rhino 7, in case multiple versions are to be installed. Click next to continue. At the component screen select the version of the plugin required. If you do not have Visual C++ redistributable installed or very first installation you can select that here too. Click next. At the ready to installed screen click install once happy with the setting selected. Installation is very quick, shown here in real time. Once installation is complete, click Finish. Now load the version of Rhino that you have just installed the plugin for. Demonstrated was the installation of the plugin for Rhino 7. Once loaded select the Tools pull-down menu, followed by Options and then Plugins as shown. Scrolling through the list of installed plugins you can see that none are listed for Visus. Click Install and search for the directory that you selected when installing the plugin earlier. In this case we installed into C colon backslash program files backslash visus point clouds for Rhino 7. Scroll looking for visus.rhp, select and click open. The visus plugin will now load and require your username and password to be entered. Once entered select login. You will notice visus point clouds for Rhino plugin is displayed, make sure it is enabled. If you want to install the visus render option, select install, and look for visus render.rhp, select and click open. You will notice visus point cloud render displayed in the list of plugins. Click OK. At the command prompt start typing visus until you see visus point clouds displayed. Select visus point clouds. This will run the visus point clouds plugin and a separate window will be displayed. Resize the window so you can see all of its components. Also it can be docked with the other tools by selecting the Visus tab and dragging it over as shown. To load a point cloud select the green plus symbol. The options for local and network are displayed. The important part to note is that local is for users with a professional license and benefit from having clouds that will display faster and smoother as not dependent on internet connection. Shown here is the professional version selecting local. You can change the drive directory location and also use the shift and control keys to select more than one cloud file as per Windows File Explorer. Once selected click open. The point cloud or clouds should be displayed near instantly, but if not using local files with a professional version, the streaming and display speed from Zapcha Cloud will be reliant on your internet connection. Select the point cloud in the list and click the zoom icon and the views will center on the point cloud. Shown here is selecting filling and enabling color from the render option.